The fatal crash that claimed the lives of two Staunton women on Route 11 Saturday night leaves a host of unanswered questions, raising concerns about how such a tragedy could occur with so little known about the key details. Opal Nelson, 83, and Carolyn Childress, 72, were struck and killed while crossing the highway a half mile north of Wares Cave Road. Virginia State Police have confirmed that the crash occurred at 9.21 p.m. and involved a Dodge Caravan driven by Danielle N. Bennington, 39, of Mount Crawford. But beyond that, information remains scarce. It is unclear what prompted the two women to cross the road at that hour, why they were not wearing reflective clothing, and whether any other factors, such as lighting, road conditions, or possible distractions, played a role in the tragedy. Compton 37 suffered minor injuries, but neither has been reported to be at fault. With two lives lost and a major highway shut down for hours following the crash, the public is left asking, how could this happen? Further complicating matters, the arrest of Christopher E. Nelson, 41, of Staunton, raises additional questions. Nelson was apprehended after allegedly refusing to leave the scene, resulting in charges of disorderly conduct, misdemeanor obstruction, and two counts of assault on law enforcement officers. His connection to the victims and motivation for being at the scene remains unclear, deepening the mystery surrounding this tragic event. Authorities have yet to release more detailed findings from the ongoing investigation, leaving the community grappling with not just the emotional toll, but the stunning lack of clarity about a crash that has devastated local families and briefly paralyzed a major roadway. Virginia State Police are continuing their investigation into the incident, but the public is left waiting for answers that may help make sense of how two lives were lost so suddenly and what led to the subsequent chaos on the scene. To stay updated on the latest breaking news, subscribe to Breaking Through on the Newsbreak app or at breakingthrough.com.